Berlin is constantly reinventing itself. If you have a city that's completely divided, once the wall comes down, there's a lot of vacant buildings, interesting spaces that are left open for some time. In Berlin, you have performances happening in an old bank or in a swimming pool or whatever it is. The amount that that happens and really the different places you can perform here, it's pretty incredible. What I'm interested in is dance theatre. And there's a lot of international artists that come here. And there's a, a lot going on creatively. When I came to Berlin, I started working with this woman, Sasha Waltz, and what I really liked about her approach was that she created a very kind of creatively fertile environment in a room where you could be inspired almost more by the people you're working with rather than the person you're working for. And I guess I took that on board. I really enjoyed this, and it sort of sparked my desire to choreograph seriously and in a different way than I had been dabbling in before. Propped up on my elbows with my head in my hands. The work that I'm really interested in creating is, is stuff that starts with something where everybody understands what's happening on stage. And then use dance, which is ultimately an abstract art form to bring it to somewhere where you can't put it in words anymore, something that's not concrete anymore. So the meaning of it is something that's left up to your imagination. It's something that you need to, to grasp and to work on. It can be challenging, but it never leaves you behind. When I first came to Berlin, I really didn't like the city at all. There's something a little hard, a little less friendly about it, and it's cold and dark for a long time. The flip side of that is when spring comes out, everybody is in just such an unbelievably good mood. It's beautiful. I really, really enjoy that. I didn't realise that people could be so happy with a little bit of sun.